Welcome back to Rich Drive. If you haven't done so, kindly consider subscribing uh, to the channel, also liking and sharing the videos that you watch. Today we are looking at these uh, 2013 Toyota Vits. The owner says that uh, the four-wheel drive light comes on when he's driving at certain conditions, but he doesn't know what causes it, so he wants it checked out. Because it's an orange light, it's a caution light, tells you there is something wrong, so he wants it to be checked. Now, that gives us an indication of what the problem may be, but uh, to find out what really is the problem, I hooked it to a scan tool, and uh, under the four-wheel drive codes, the last one, the C1337, is a tire diameter is not uniform. The tire diameter is a distance from the middle of the rim to the edge of the tire, as in this case. Now, uh, the most common uh, causes of the C1337 code are to do with the wheel speed centers, sensors. The wheel speed sensors, as the name suggests, uh, measure the speed at which each wheel is moving and transfer this information to the uh, car's computer. If uh, there are different uh, values received, then you get the code. The sensor in this case, as we are seeing here, works by uh, measuring the rate at which those gear teeth are passing over it. These gear teeth are connected to the car's wheel, obviously. So it con converts the rate at which those teeth are passing over it into a signal, which is uh, transmitted to the vehicle's computer. Now, going back to the types of drive trains, we have uh, each, wheel, each vehicle may have one of these front wheel drive, that's the vehicles where the front wheels are only connected to the engine, the rear wheel drive vehicles where the, only the back wheels are connected to the engine, like in trucks, high-end uh, vehicles and also sports vehicles, and then we have all wheel drive, all the tires are connected to the, all the wheels are connected to the engine and then four wheel drive. Now, the four-wheel drive is engaged when uh, the, there is a feature called transfer case. Uh, it connects all the four wheels to the engine, and therefore they all move at the same speed, get that the same speed. And this is important so as to get you out of tricky situations when you are off-road or when the vehicle uh, road conditions are not okay. But uh, the four-wheel feature consumes a lot of fuel, and it leads to a lot of wearing of parts, which may be expensive. In the long run. Going back to our vehicle, the Toyota Vitz, uh, we can see here that the front tire is size 185, that is the distance from the edge of the rim to the top of the tire. Remember both the front wheels and the back wheels are of size 14, but this number 185, the distance from the edge of the rim to the top of the tire. Compare that to the back wheel, which looks reasonably smaller, but as you can find out, it's size 185. Sorry, 165. The edge of the rim to the top of the tire is 165. This shows that this wheel, rear wheel, has a small diameter compared to the front wheel. And as you can see also, it fits, uh, it shows you there is a lot of space around it on that wheel well. Now, when this front wheel moves, one revolution the rear wheel will move more than one revolution in order to catch up because the same vehicle moving and when the four wheel drive feature is connected and the vehicle has moved for a certain time you will get this four wheel drive light coming on and that will produce the code C1337 which shows you that the wheels are moving at different speeds and it's the same vehicle and when you hook your scanning tool to it you'll get the code and the danger with this is that when the vehicle is in four wheel mode and the tires are moving or the wheels are moving at different uh, sp speeds then you will lead to the uh, destruction or your transmission system will be spoiled and you may end up having a huge bill in order to replace the course of your four wheel or your your transmission system. This is uh, dangerous, and uh, some people do that do so because they want to uh, save money or they want to buy the front wheels first or the rear wheels first, and then buy the other set of wheels later when they get the money. 
and that leads to this problem and uh, it's a danger. So you better or buy or get all four wheels of the same size. So thanks again for watching and for your time. I really do appreciate. Good day.